Hi, I'm Valerie from ValerieGetch.com and Valerie's Photo Channel. Being able to process our images quickly is always a good thing, and batch processing in Lightroom can really help. There are many different ways you can batch process your images. Batch processing simply means copying settings from one image and applying them to other images. In my last video, I showed you how to do this using the previous button, and you can watch it here. Now I'm going to show you how to use the sync and the auto sync feature. First, we'll look at the sync button. I have several images here in the film strip and one main image selected here in the center. They were all taken with the same settings and in similar lighting. First, I'm going to make some quick adjustments. I think I'm going to warm up the temperature a little since this image was taken in late afternoon and I'm going to bring down the highlights and open up the shadows and I'm going to set the white point by holding down the alt or option key if you're on a Mac and moving the slider till I see a few dots of color then I'll pull back and I'm going to do similar to set the black point moving my slider to the left till I see a little bit of solid black and then I think I'm going to bump up the exposure just a little bit here. And let's add a little clarity. Mm, that's a little too much. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance. So now I'm going to select some images here in the film strip. I'm going to select these four. So I'm just going to go and hold down the shift key and click on the last image to select all those in a row. If I had only wanted, you know, say a couple images, you know, every other one or something, then you would hold down the control and then just individually select the images. So this image, you can see that it's got a lighter color here, so that's still the most selected image. So now you'll see that before it, there was, it said previous down here, and now it says sync. So I'm going to click on the sync button and then this dialog box will pop up and then first thing that I like to do is I like to check none just so I don't accidentally have things checked that I don't want and then I'm going to uh, check the white balance and since I adjusted the basic tone I'm going to select that I also uh, worked with the clarity and um, the vibrance I didn't make any local adjustments, but I always like to check the process version uh, because all of the images are, um, I'm working in the same with the same process version. So then I'll just simply click on synchronize. And then let's just look at one of these other images. And you can see that all of the same settings have been applied. Similarly. So that's a fast way to get a group of images all having the same settings very quickly. But then what happens if I want to make more changes? Then I would have to sync them again. But that's where AutoSync comes into play. With AutoSync, any changes that I make to one of these images will automatically be applied to all of the images selected. And you can also apply local adjustment brush and gradients and radial filters too. So to get to the auto sync mode, you could just toggle this little slider here uh, over to the left of where it says sync. And now we're in auto sync. And then I'm going to select this image again as my main image. And I still have these other images selected. And now I'm going to go down to the effects panel and I'm going to add a post crop vignette and I'm going to make it really extreme just so that you can see and watch as instantly the same post crop vignette is applied to the other images here in the film strip. So I'm not going to leave that that high because it's a little extreme but I'll leave it there and again you can see that Lightroom quickly made that a change to all of the other images. So when would you use AutoSync? 
it's super helpful when you have a group of images shot at the same time with the same settings. So then if you have the auto sync on, as you make adjustments to one image, the exact same adjustments will be made to the other images you've selected in real time as you make them. So obviously auto sync can help make working in Lightroom faster. You can leave auto sync on all the time, but sometimes that can get you into trouble because you might forget and you, you know, say if you're um, cropping an image, you might accidentally have the same crop applied to a bunch of images and you might not have intended that. So I like to leave auto sync off and then just switch back to the, um, the regular sync mode and then go back to auto sync when I want to use it. I'm Valerie Getch, and if you found this tutorial helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit the like button. And you can click here to get my free 66 page Digital Photography Basics ebook, and be sure to subscribe to my channel to get all of my Lightroom tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.